Some time ago, we offered a focus wheel. The idea of the focus wheel was you make a statement of something that you want and you write it in the center of the wheel. And then you make statements and you write them around the outside of the wheel. But the statements that you make aren't to try to believe what's in the center of the wheel. They are statements sort of kind of about what's in the center of the wheel that you already believe. And the analogy that we offered is like the merry-go-round on the playground. Esther had one at the grade school when she was growing up and she and her friends played on it all summer long and they noticed that if they got on the wheel and the wheel was going really fast and then someone tried to get on they rarely could bounced them right off in the bushes the momentum of the wheel was such that they couldn't get on but if the wheel was slow enough they could get on and then speed it up and then they had such fun with the faster and faster and faster momentum this is really what we're talking about here you want to slow the thought down enough that you can get on and then speed it up the thing that is most important about this conversation is that you speak often about things that you want that you already believe we're not asking you to make statements that you don't believe that'll just throw you off in the bushes and there's no value in that you'll never get better at that but if you can slow it down enough that you make statements that you believe and you can focus on those statements that you believe and not introduce resistant thought to them then those thoughts because law of attraction is responding to them those thoughts will gain momentum and when a thought gains momentum hear this we're defining something for you when a vibration of a thought gains momentum it becomes more powerful and that's when manifestations begin to occur to you so if you just take some simple thought that you believe and don't mess it up by trying to make it more complicated than it needs to be or by trying to change the way you feel about something if you just take a simple thought that you already believe that matches what you want to know that thought in and of itself will become bigger what about that isn't that just amazing to know all that effort that you've been offering from a place of trying to overcome something no wonder you get tired because you're bucking your own current but when you take a thought that doesn't have resistance in it and you just allow it to sit within you that's why meditation works that's why there's such power in meditation when you quiet your mind you stop thought and when you stop thought you stop resistance and in the absence of resistance only resistant free thought will flow to you that's why you start feeling that's why emotions start manifesting within you that's why you start feeling movement in the absence of resistant thought all things are possible you see so then the big argument that most humans have had about that is I don't want to stop thinking I want to be a thinker we want you to be a thinker too but we want you to get on your high flying disc before you think we want you to get into the vortex before you think we want you to prepare your vibrational atmosphere we want you to set yourself up for the thoughts that feel good when they come we want you to be your own thinker we want you to think about all kinds of things but first and foremost we want the thought that you think to feel good when you think it period problem solving thoughts oh I think I'll think about this problem I think I'll think about this problem I think I'll think about this problem that doesn't feel good when you think about a problem think about a problem don't think about a problem but when you think about a problem <laughs> you think about a problem you get that sort of funny feeling in your stomach when you think about the problem because you're introducing resistance to the answer that's already culminating within you the problem and the solution the question and the answer are simultaneously within your reach you've just got to decide whether you're tuning to the solution or to the problem you see and so if you care about how you feel and we know that you do and if you want momentum to increase and we know that you do if you will give yourself a break and not try to figure it out all at once say to yourself when you get up in the morning it's gonna be a fun day There's gonna be lots of evidence of this I'm not gonna overthink it I'm gonna overthink it I'm not going to overthink it I'm not going to overthink it I'm overthinking it already <laughs> I'm gonna be easy about this this is easy this is easier than I have known these things I know I know that I'm a vibrational being you do I know that I live in a vibrational universe I'm coming to know I could say that I believe that I'm an extension of source energy and I believe that I'm here to come to my own personal conclusions about what I want do you believe all of that yeah you do yes 
I know that I've launched some rockets of desire and I know that I'm not vibrationally up to speed with them yet but I know that I can be and I have a hunch that getting up to speed with them is the fun of life so I'm happy that there are things that I'm not up to speed with I'm happy that there are things still for me to become eager about I like this idea of never-ended eagerness I'm gonna give myself a break I'm gonna be easier about all of this I'm gonna accept the goodness of my being I'm gonna watch for the evidence the source is with me I'm gonna watch for those times when I'm in a sort of neutral zone when good ideas come I'm gonna be more of a feeler of my way through this than a thinker I'm really good at thinking I'm really really good at thinking you are you are a powerful focus too good I like this and just appreciate the contrast you are a powerful thinker which means you can get the wobble free momentum going easily or you can introduce wobble to it easily because you focus powerfully you've been a problem solver for a long time now we're wanting you to for a while just be a problem avoider and by a problem avoider we mean a good feeling finder we want you to teach yourself that law of attraction is responding to you and these things we are certain of we told you the things that you know these are the things that we know about you going forward you're never again going to tell that story oh you'll tell that story you will tell that story but you're never again going to tell it without recognizing what you're doing and as you tell that story and recognize what you're doing you're gonna find it humorous because it's sort of an old habit and you're gonna say things like old habits die hard but new habits come on strong the reason that old habits die hard is because you are a strong focuser so you could just as easily say new habits increase quickly for me as old habits die hard because both of them are the function of your ability to focus you see I have just figured out that I want to be a more selective sifter I'm gonna be pickier about the things that I turn my attention toward I'm going to be more of a feeler than a thinker just to shore that up just a little bit we want to ask you to feel with us the difference between love and appreciation are the same vibration really feel the feeling of love feel what it feels like to hold someone in your gaze and they've done something it snuck up on you you didn't even see it coming but you're just sort of taking them in and realizing who they are and you haven't got any story going really you're in that sort of neutral zone and so you're seeing them through the eyes of source and you just feel really strong appreciation and love for this person it's just sort of feel it feel it with us so you getting what we're talking about now try to describe what love is use words love is um love is uh love is love is um love is um love is um, it comes and goes <laughs> sometimes i feel it sometimes i don't but the words fall really short right it just is the words yeah. fall really short of the translation of the vibration that your emotions are giving you that's really what we want you to hear and you've been trying to use your words in ways that words can't really be used very well and in an effort to use your words in order to explain things you have just complicated them you want to go back to the basics of feeling you see that's why isn't it brilliant that you were born with emotions that let you know how you're doing in relationship with who you really are get on a subject and allow yourself to allow the momentum to gather until you're rampaging and feel what it feels like to love I like being at this time on this planet I like being an extension of source energy I like being here where law of attraction abounds I like seeing things unfold I like all that has come before I like where I stand I like the feeling of motion forward that I'm feeling I like beginning to believe that I am a creator of my own reality I like seeing universal response to my thoughts I like feeling my way through this I like the evidence that comes I like recognizing the evidence I like the increase in positive emotion that I'm feeling I like this feeling of empowerment that's coming over me more and more I like the fun that I'm having I like the fun people that are gathering around me I like the insights that are coming to me 
I think this is like the perfect time to be alive in this physical time space reality I can't think of a better time than right here right now I can feel the presence of source in all things I can feel the well-being of source in all things I can feel that we are in a better place than we've ever been on just about any topic that I turn my attention to I'm so loving having lived what I've lived and come to the conclusions that I've come to and I love the desires that are pulsing within me and I love the feeling of those desires being able to manifest I love watching things unfold in bigger ways I really really like sharing this planet with others and I so like how law of attraction is matching me up with others that are like me I like this leading edge platform that so many of us are standing on it really feels good to feel good it really feels good this feeling of invincibility that is washing over me every now and again I love that feeling I love the feeling of clarity more than just about any feeling in the world I love having a thought that I'm not contradicting in any way and I love the feeling of clarity I love the feeling of rendezvousing with source on this thought at this time I love that feeling of clarity that I feel so often I'm so happy to know what I know I love being alive in this time I love the others who are interacting with me I love thinking about where I'm going I love thinking about the opportunities that are there for me I'm happy about every experience that I ever lived that put that stuff in my vortex I believe that my vortex is real I wouldn't want it all to dump into my realization at once it would be overwhelming to me I like that it comes a little bit at a time I like the trail that unfolds before me I like being alive I like this vivid feeling that I'm feeling I like the resourcefulness of source I love how much source loves me I love how much source loves others when source looks through my eyes at others I love the feeling of being so in sync with source that I can look out into the world and benefit the world by my gaze I love becoming aware of a situation somewhere on the planet and I love the feeling that the solution is right there with the problem and I love the feeling that the solution is pulsing somewhere within the hearts of all of us I love knowing that the solutions are there I'm starting to believe that the problems and the solutions are almost presenting themselves simultaneously I think that's what this mixing and moving through this dynamic reality that we are all about is about Ooh, I love the right place and right timeness of me I'm so ready for this I'm so ready to excel in the direction of things that matter to me I can tell this story endlessly I could go on and on and on and on and on there is no end to the appreciation that I feel that I could speak right here and now I could stay in this wobble free place and speak the appreciation of me my value my worthiness you your value your worthiness the alignment the co-creation of all of us oh man did we have a good plan when we said we'd come forth oh into a time-space reality that gives birth to new ideas every one of them achievable every idea born out of this time-space reality achievable and existing for the fun of the experience of the unfolding of it I love knowing that I don't need to get anything done that there isn't something that's broken that somebody hasn't assigned me something and I'm disappointing them in some way I'm just sniffing my way along to this good feeling trail finding the feelings that feel good and then watching what happens I'm a vessel for source I'm a conduit for energy to flow sometimes I'm the right words at the right time for someone who wants to hear them sometimes I'm just a glance across a room or a smile to somebody who's looking for that I don't have to be perfect yeah. I don't have to know it all I never right. will know it all I just have to feel good right now and do what comes next after feeling good right now that's it